while traveling across beautiful terrains and rivers like this. Have you noticed these bumpy discontinuities on the bridges? Why are they provided, even when they make the drive so uncomfortable? Let's see the story of this creek bridge in Maharashtra. It all started when a PWD engineer noticed the sound of sizable chunks of concrete spalling off from under the bridge into the river below it. This wasn't good for the safety of boats and ferries as well as for the bridge itself in long term. Team Sanrachna performed NDT and visual inspection along with senior PWD officials. The findings were shocking. The 40 meter long pre-stressed spans of the 50 year old bridge had absolutely no defects. But the hammer heads that supports them at both ends were heavily distressed. The first problem was in the concrete itself. Loose concrete was found up to even the second layer of reinforcement. Due to the reduction of effective cover resulting from MS mesh and shot crate based repair activities, the corrosion of main reinforcements was accelerated, leading to excessive spalling of concrete. The second problem was in energy dissipation. These discontinuities called expansion joints are the gaps separating the spans from the hammerhead. In the course of time, the bearings hardened and became incapable of damping the vibrations and expansion joints got filled with vegetation, dirt and asphalt, making the whole superstructure behave as one long unit of concrete. This filling of the expansion joints badly affected its primary purpose of permitting thermal expansions as well. Simply put, the safety of the bridge was jeopardized by two elements of the bridge that barely cost 1% of the entire construction cost, the bearings and expansion joints. With decades of expertise in structural retrofitting, Sanrachna quickly identified these underlying root causes and proposed the detailed repair methodology. First, the strengthening of the hammerhead from the inside. Using pressure grouting, micro concrete, and carbon laminates in pre stressed and non pre stressed form. From the exterior, after setting up a clever suspended scaffolding system, all loose concrete was removed and additional reinforcements were provided to compensate for corroded steel bars. The section was rebuilt using micro concrete with external strength enhancement using CFRP wraps. Now, the most challenging part replacement of the bearings and the expansion joints. Since conventional jacking systems were unsuitable for the architecture of this bridge, our engineers were back to the drawing board. Several brainstorming sessions later, we came up with this ingenious solution. This truss system was custom built to suit the varying dimensions and asymmetry of the six different hammerheads seamlessly. Once it is assembled and moved onto a hammerhead, these high strength plates can be passed through the deck to form a cradle system supporting the spans on either ends of the truss. The cradles were rested on powerful hydraulic jacks on top of the truss ends. The spans were then lifted gently with utmost care. This creates the separation space for replacing the old defunct bearings with the new ones. After repair and strengthening of the pedestals. The expansion joints were then cleared down to full depth. 
After lowering the spans, new expansion joint detailing was provided on the top and asphalt surfacing was done after the curing period. For proof checking, we performed full loading test on the retrofitted bridge and needless to say, it passed with flying colors. After some additional works such as boulder pitching for slope stabilization and anti-carbonation coating, our job in rehabilitating this important bridge in the outskirts of the city was concluded. Reducing a two-hour long journey from one village to another just to five minutes. Sanrachna, leaders in structural retrofitting.